Hey all, Wednesday evening, got the big Spitfire out again, nice uh, fluffy clouds, got a little bit of a breeze, not much. Right. Gears up. That wasn't nice, I've just had a bloody great spider crawling across my hand. I had to take my hands off to stick them for a split second because if I didn't I would have juddered and crashed. Right, landing. A little bit too much altitude then on the last circuit, but this uh, battery, as I've mentioned before in this, um, it weakens right off to the point I don't trust it. Like when I've just done that gear pass and spun back round again, um, that was full throttle, that was as I was turning and it's barely got any grunt, so I didn't want to go back round again. There you go anyway, she did come down nice. Whew. That was freaking awesome. I've been looking forward to that all day today. 
one of my uh, one of my first jobs this morning was um, in a little house and estate right on the end of Biggin Hill Runway and I saw three or four Spitfire pass overs while I was doing my job and um, had the pleasure of having a um, having a twin seat come straight over the top of me you know probably 100 foot over the top of me as he was coming in on finals gear down flaps down could see the pilot in there could see the passenger in there yeah that was great and then I've seen a couple more flying around during the day I've got home and uh, seen another well I say not another two it was the same Spitfire making two passes but I saw that as a um, a sign so yeah made that very enjoyable well there we go guys thanks for watching just want to um, go through one more thing having a lot of um, people mention about the uh, the quality of the footage recently um, unfortunately the old camera that I was using which was rock solid and brilliant um, it does no it, it doesn't work any longer so I've had to resort just to using what I can um, so there you go guys hopefully um i should be able to get another half decent camera soon and uh we'll be back in business thanks for watching